Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do in this video is talk a little bit about coolant. My goal is to make sure that you're getting the most out of using coolant within 1CNC. In this example, we have a simple part, and why don't we begin by performing a profile operation. Let's head over to the Command Manager, go into our Stock Tool Paths, and let's just go with the Mill Profile Basic Command. I'm going to select that. I'm going to take my cursor and left click the beginning of where I'd like to profile. I want a climb cut on the inside, so I want to left click that arrow. And if I hit the F3 key on the keyboard, it will select the rest of the geometry. My cursor changes to the word Start, so I can repeat the process. Left click, left click the arrow, F3. Left click, left click that arrow, F3. And when I'm done, I can right hand mouse click. All right, now within the very first dialog box, for every single post processor within one CNC from milling and lathe, you're gonna have an option for coolant. And by default, this is set to none. So if we leave it set to none, one CNC is not going to output CNC code to turn the coolant on, okay? I can quickly demonstrate that. Let's just click next, 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 and finish. I'll just use the defaults there. Let's quickly generate some CNC code. And I think that looks good. Or we'll use the default post processor, post. And within the text editor, sure enough, if we take a look up at the top, there's nothing up here that's outputting an M code for coolant. All right. So if we want coolant, we've got to turn it on. So let's go back into our profile operation. Going to right click and select edit operation. That looks good. And if we expand coolant, there's four options here. Now, they're not very descriptive at the moment. I'm going to tell you how to correct that in just a second. But let's go with the very first option there, number one. That looks good. So we'll click next, 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 and finish. And now if we generate our CNC program, post group, again, we'll use that default post processor. Again, we'll head back into the text editor. But now you're going to see that one CNC is outputting an M08, which is going to give us coolant. Now that is great. However, let's make one CNC a little bit more descriptive when it comes to coolant. So let's edit our profile operation. Let's edit operation. And let's go back into our coolant. Let's expand that. And for these different options, let's give these some meaning. So I'm going to click edit. And within this small dialog box here, I'm going to double click on number one. And for that, I'm going to type in mist. For number two, I'm going to double click that and I'm going to type in flood. For number three, I'm going to double click that and I'm going to type in spindle for through spindle. And I'm going to leave number four alone. I think all that looks good, so we'll click OK. So the neat thing now is that no matter what post processor you use, whether it's a Haas, a Fanuc, a Fidel, it makes no difference. When you click coolant, you're now going to have these three options. So if we were to select flood or spindle, we're going to want the post processor to output a different M code for each one of these. So let me show you how to do that. I'm going to leave this set to mist right now and just click cancel. Let's go into our post processor by double clicking up here and within the NC processing dialog box to make an edit to this post processor, we're going to click setup. Now what we want to do is we want to go into our posting format and we want to make sure that where it says pick a format, we want to make sure that we have tool format selected. This is the CNC code that's going to be output every time you perform a tool change. Okay, so if we look down here at the very bottom, there is a variable here called coolant. It's one variable, but if we look over here on the right, there's four different options for that coolant. So right now, if we were to select the very first option where it said mist, one CNC is going to output an M08. Well, maybe on your machine, mist, maybe it's a seven for that. If we go to coolant number two, by default, one CNC is going to output an M07, but maybe for your machine tool, if you want flood, maybe that requires an M08. Let's go to coolant number three, option three there. Well, there's nothing in the post for that. Let's say we want coolant through the spindle. That may be something like an M88 for that. Okay, very good. So let's click OK. And let's give our new post processor edits a test. Okay, so let's go back into our profile operation. 
edit operation and let's expand this down and let's select spindle through spindle that should output an m88 now so let's click next next finish let's generate our cnc program post group we're using that same post processor default go to post save and into the text editor sure enough one cnc is now output an m88 to turn the coolant on through the spindle all right now we also should talk about turning the coolant off so let's do that by default most machine tools will require an m09 to turn the coolant off if we look at the very bottom of the cnc program here you can see that one cnc is outputting an m09 in fact it's outputting it twice let me explain what's happening here within the tool change logic one cnc is outputting an m09 within the end of cnc program logic it's also going to output an m09 the duplicates of these will not cause an issue as long as these m09s are on different lines I'm going to show you how to clean that up in just a second, but just note that you can have multiple M codes as long as they're on separate lines. Okay, very good. Well, our post is outputting an M09, but we're using coolant through the spindle. And to turn that off, that might require something like an M89. Okay, so how do we do that? Let's go back into the post processor. I'm going to double click and let's go back into setup here. All right, back into our posting format. So here's our tool change format. This variable here is outputting the coolant off. And if we take a look over here on the right, here is the variable. And as expected, that's outputting an M09. Now remember how we talked about how you can have multiple M codes as long as they're on separate lines, that's not gonna cause an issue. That's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna type in an M89 that's going to turn the coolant off if we were to use uh, coolant through the spindle. But this needs to be on a separate line. How do we do that? We only have one field to type in the characters to turn the coolant off. Well, if I take my cursor and click it right there in between the M09 and the M08, we can type in a backslash and the letter N. You can think of that backslash and the letter N as a code to tell one CNC to output a separate line. So let's do that. Let's test this out. Let's click OK to that. Let's click Post. We'll go back into the text editor here. And if we take a look down here, you can see that we have an M09 and an M89 all on different lines there. That's working great. Now, as mentioned earlier, I talked about how we're getting this extra M09 here. That's not an issue, but I can show you how to get rid of that. So let's close the text editor down, go back into the post processor, go back into setup. And this time for posting format, instead of tool format, let's go with start and finish format. This controls the CNC code that's gonna be output at the very beginning of the program and at the very end of the program. You can see there's an M09 there. Let's delete that, there we go. We'll click OK to that. Let's post this out, and this should output the code that we want here. And sure enough, if we take a look down here, there's our M09, M89 on separate lines, which is not gonna cause an issue, and there's not that extra M09 down here. All right, now this video took a little longer than I expected, but I hope it helped out. I hope it gave you the ability to get the most out of using coolant within one CNC. All right, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.